Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime and today I'm going to show you a build that will shred through the recruiter's mission, the last manhunt mission. I know a lot of people having troubles with it and you can use this build on any difficult that you want. I'm shredding through the enemies on heroic on this manhunt mission. It is a pretty easy build to get together it will give you the survivability it will give you the damage output that is definitely definitely needed especially if you want to play it on heroic and this is just a banger of a combination you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna just shred through everything that this man hunt throws at you so without further ado let's dive right into the build and let me show you what we've been working on live on stream testing out a bunch of different builds so let's get it started and this is the build that you just saw me shredding through the recruiter hunting him down and taking down everything that is on my path as you can see for our specialization we are using the gunner specialization and why because i still wanted to have a full red build i still wanted to do a decent amount of damage but have some survivability next to that as well and the gunner specialization gives that to you with that extra 10 percent armor on kill we're killing around 170 to 180 people within this manhunt it is a lot it is a lot of fun as well but i feel like that gunner specialization definitely comes in clutch then next to that i chose to go for the saint elmos most of y'all all probably already have it this is a very very good exotic assault rifle i went for damage to target out of cover and why is this so good because the mods on here are 20 percent critical hit damage and 20 percent critical hit chance next to of course the weapon handling and the extra rounds the extra rounds help out as well this is the only assault rifle that has 70 rounds in the mag it's a straight up laser beam and you can hit your critical hit chance and critical hit damage numbers pretty easily with those mods and then over to my secondary i don't really use my m1a that often i usually have them when they are way further away from me but of course that saint elmos is a laser beam and you can still beam down people from a distance so the m1a isn't a really necessary i went for damage to target out of cover and i went for ranger because of course i'm doing it for people that are further away from me and i don't feel like my saint elmos does the damage then for my handgun you can choose for whatever you want i went for the tdi card i would go for something that you for example do not have proficient yet because because that will save you some materials and some time to look for duplicates then jumping over to the rest of my build and as you already can see it is a four piece striker striker is just hands down the best dps gear set out there and next to that i chose to go for protection from elites yes and that's why this build holds up on heroic while fighting everybody taking down that recruiter this is just hands down one of the best builds to go for if you want to go for of course a full red build so everything is catered to a critical hit chance and critical hit damage and then the mods are protection from elites we all know striker this will give us an extra weapon handling an extra rate of fire and it will give us an extra weapon damage of 200 percent and why because we're running around with the backpack that will give us from 0.65 percent to one percent per stack and we're running around with the chest piece and that gains from 100 to 200 so in an optimal world you will have 200 percent extra weapon damage but you're not reaching that optimal 200 stacks that often yes it will be there but it isn't there all the time i chose to go for this chest piece because i wanted to go for two improvised pieces to get a little bit more protection from elites in and i still wanted to keep that four piece striker 
and that's why I chose to go for my chest piece. And then, like I explained, same for my gloves, I went for critical hit chance, backpack is critical hit damage, then mask is critical hit damage, and the chest piece is critical hit damage as well. You can roll one critical hit damage away for critical hit chance to boost it up a little bit more in the critical hit chance, as this might be a little bit too low for your preferences, even for my preferences, but this build helped me out a lot. And then for the two most important pieces, those are the improvised gear. And why? Because this doesn't come with any brand set boost whatsoever, but it comes with a mod slot. We can craft this and then of course, look for your critical hit chance and critical hit damages and go for full reds. And then go for protection from elite mod, same as for your knee pads. As you can see, 13%, 12%. We have another 13%, we have another 12%, and we have another 13%. Then let's go over my skills. I went for the Revive Hive. We all know this will definitely help you out. And what I noticed was that the decoy helps out a lot. Especially in the first few stages when you might need to defeat a turret. If you throw that decoy down, it will definitely help you out. The turrets will aggro your decoy and you can take out the turrets pretty damn quickly. You can also use it at the end fight as well. It helps out a lot, but a healing drone or a healing cam will help you out as well. Some of the times you will get pulsed, so you can't heal yourself with your skills then, but the decoy will help out, but we were talking about it on stream yesterday while testing out a few different builds and talking about it, and we kind of came to a conclusion that at the and part you can definitely switch over to your healing cam launcher or for example your healing drone that's pretty much the whole setup of the build let's go over to the stats real quick as i told you we're working towards our critical hit chance critical hit damages first and it's 48 percent critical hit chance versus the 125 percent critical hit damage so if you want to change your critical hit chance, go for it, change one of the critical hit damages to critical hit chance, you will go up to 54% critical hit chance, and then you will have a 113% critical hit damage. I already changed it on my build, but I wanted to show you the build how we used it yesterday. I would recommend you go for that 54% critical hit chance. You are hitting more critical hit shots, so in that way you're hitting more damage output and you can beam down the enemies a lot easier. So I just wanted to show you how we had it yesterday. But in my opinion, and probably everybody else's opinion as well, go for that 54% critical hit chance and that 113% critical hit damage versus the 48 and the 125. But that's pretty much it. A quick and easy build video how to slay that recruiter and which build you can use if you don't want to run around with a full tank build and being in this mission for an hour and a half. And like I said in the intro, you can definitely beat this mission within 30 minutes if you just run through it on heroic with this build. Let me know in the comments down below what you like about this build, what would you change around this build, and what build did you use to beat that recruiter? I would love to hear your opinion in the comments down below, and that's pretty much it for me today. Thank you very much for sticking until the end. If you're still here, you are a freaking legend. If you liked the video or helped you out in any way or form, make sure to like this video. And of course, if you're new here or just want to be updated about the Division Universe, the Division 2, and the future Division 3, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you in the next one. Pure Prime out.